timing belt has snapped on this uh, van. I'll just bring these in. Well, it hasn't snapped. It's sort of started. I don't know if you can see it there. All the starting to fray at the end there. But I was talking out this morning and I drove around the corner and she quit on me. So it probably is something wrong in the engine. But I want to take everything off here and just put a new timing belt on it. Yeah, I'll just turn it over by putting the radiator and all back in to see what what happens. I'm probably going to have to go inside the engine to fix it properly. Yeah, so I'll give it a go here anyway and get this all stripped off and get back to you. All right, I managed to get that radiator out and just set it there without disconnecting these pipes here. Yeah, I've just loosened this off. You can see all, see all the stuff from the belt. Alright, I've done the timing there, put that timing belt on. Took a wee while to figure it out. Yeah. So I'll give it a crank over here before I put it all back together. Fingers crossed it's nothing broke inside. Probably wishful, th wishful thinking, but I'll give it a go. See why the timing timing belt on that? I think it's a good quarter of an inch off the off off the timing. No, look at the stone. I was hoping everything would have been still aligned up. You can see that it's not aligned up. It's not going to be aligned up now, sorry, because it's wore out that. All right, can't remember where I left off on fixing this van here, but uh, I've got it all put back together here. I was waiting on the timing kit there, and it's came in there. So, new belt. E water pump, e burns and stuff. So I'll stick this timing kit in it here. Stick some oil in it, and then I should be ready to turn it over to see if it's if it's going to fire up. Yeah. So I'll put this timing kit in here. I'm not a mechanic, so I'm just just winging it. Yeah. I'll say I'll stick this in and then put the camera back on and see if it's going to fire up. All right, I can't remember where I left off in this van here. Uh, I've only been recording bits of it, so I don't know how much footage I've got of it. Yeah, uh, so I'll see if I can make a video out of it. But I'll stick these on time lapse here and put this reader and all these connections on here, and then we'll fire it up at the end. I did turn it over and she started up. But uh, I don't want to run it without the radiator and all on. So we'll do that and get stuck into it and get it washed once I get it all put back together. All right, I'm just going to do a wee voiceover here to explain a few things. So I lost a bit of the footage uh, of putting the head back on the engine. So there was damage done to the head so I brought it and got it 
the, the head all reskimmed and all the valves. I think there was four valves damaged on it. Uh, so I got it fixed. It cost me 500 quid. So when I, this first happened, I had a load of jobs booked in that I had to, had to do. And in the middle of it, a van broke on a Monday morning. So at the start, I was ringing mechanics to try to get them to fix it. And none of them would uh, fix it. They all wanted to put a new engine in it. Or not a new engine, but a second hand engine. So I rung around trying to get an engine for it and couldn't get one anywhere. So I was stuck with no van and a load of jobs booked in. So I ended up buying that Mercedes Sprinter. I don't know if you've have seen it on the channel yet. Yeah, so I got it and I was able to pull me out of a hole, so I just decided to fix this by myself. So this is the uh, second engine I took apart and put back together. There's an old video on my channel, uh, a black Honda CRV. That was my dad's old car. Yeah, the time and chain broke on it and he was going to sell it to the scrap yards and they weren't going to give him much money for it so i ended up buying it off him for cheap and yeah, just fixed it myself it's still running dead on the power steering pump needs fixed on it so i'm gonna to have to order one of them for it and fix it but apart from that it's been running dead on what actually happened was when it got the thing going I forgot to tap up the power steering fluid. Some of it had leaked out, but I didn't think that much had leaked out. That's why the power steering pump has broke on it. So that's something else I'm gonna to have to fix. So it's been a couple of years since I've got into doing mechanical work and welding and metal work. But I've been really enjoying it. Still have a lot to learn. Yeah, I sort of got into it from watching YouTube. Yeah, obviously watching Andrew and Matt from Diesel Creek and Mike Festiva. I think I got his name right there. Yeah, and there's a new up and coming YouTuber, Andres from Ants Pants. I've been really enjoying his content as well, but there's obviously there's a ton of more uh, people to watch as well. But that's a few people to watch. So I would rather watch someone who isn't an expert fix something or build something than someone who is an expert. So all this here is new to me doing the mechanical working and metal work and welding and stuff yeah sorry for the bit of a rant but we'll get back into the video here all right that's me sorted now uh, i want to try turning it over here now yeah i did turn it over and she started all right so i put it all back together here yeah i did turn it on on top of the water up i put antifreeze in it there so I'll start it up here and see what it's like. Uh, there's no exhaust on it, so yeah, I have to get an exhaust for it on a mirror. But uh, I'll start it up here anyway. Yeah.
it sit there for a wee minute. Yeah, I moved a few things out of the way, so I just want to bring it outside. When I started it before, it wasn't as smoky as that. So I don't know why there's so much smoke coming out of it. But I'll back it up here and let her sit on for a wee while, see what, see what it does, see how it clears it. Alright, so this van's been going there for a couple of weeks, so I'll take you for a wee test drive in it, just to show you it run. Dead on there, there's no lights or anything coming on. I had a wee bit of trouble with it. There was a couple of lights on. Yeah, I changed a few parts in it, a few sensors and yeah, a few wee parts, but it ended up being uh, a bit that goes on to the intercooler. Inside the engine there, I just hadn't tightened it up enough. I was letting the air in to the turbo and was putting the two lights on, the engine management light. The other wee light with the circles on it, but once I done it, I cleared the codes. And it was running dead on after that, so I'm just going to hold on to this van, keep it for yeah, picking up materials, yeah, moving with trailers. So I can pick logs up now from the sawmill and move the digger and stuff. Whereas before, the other van, as handy as it is for doing solar, you can't fit a tow bar on the back of it because of the, the baskets in the way at the back. So that's the reason why I'm going to hide on to this van. I just like having a second van. It's not as bad as being stuck with no van when you're in the construction industry. If anyone else has that happened to happened in before just let me know in the comments these like your right arms missing whenever you don't have a van so if you've made it to the end of the video thanks for watching and um, please subscribe and hit the thumbs up for me uh, if there's any other videos you want me to do or any questions just let me know thanks for watching <laughs>